Good afternoon. Senator Leone, Representative Lamar, Senator Martin, and Representative Debelin, and the esteemed members of the committee. I am here, I am Paul Formica, the Senator of the 20th District, and here to testify in support of HB number 5021, an act concerning revisions to the Connecticut Port Authority statute. This importantly adds the office of the New London Mayor as the 16th voting member for the board. It adds at least a member that should have auditing experience. It allows the governor to select the chair. Currently, that's the, uh, the duty of the board. The executive director is required to adhere to applicable laws and regulations, which we would think should be obvious anyway, but it spells it out here. Specifies what written procedures the board needs to put in place, and it requires the board to annually contract with a firm of public accountants. Mr. Chairman, I believe this is a good start, but in, its, in and of itself, it does not go far enough. I support it getting out of committee, and I hope that uh, there is additional input and the final product we can enact uh, all of the oversight, the Port Authority and quasis uh, throughout our government need. This is incredibly important as a first step as we embark uh, on, a, on a massive undertaking led by the Connecticut Port Authority in managing the state pier, which has a key role in the rolling out of this new and emerging industry of offshore wind, which will only benefit all of the ratepayers in the state of Connecticut over time. So I thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, share my thoughts with you. And thank you, Senator, uh, for stepping forward on this issue. Uh, we've had a number of public hearings associated with the Port Authority. Uh, we've had numerous conversations. Uh, the solutions are difficult to formulate, but uh, trust that you, uh, working alongside the governor's office, ourselves on this committee and beyond, will uh, find a proper way to address it. So I appreciate your testimony. Thank you, and I hope the opportunity for all of the controls that we have suggested and more will be able to have the opportunity to get uh, into this bill, if not, or others that address the issues we're having with quasis. But I thank you for your comment. Thank you. Uh, Representative Devlin. Oh, sorry, Representative O'Day. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Uh, what afternoon. would you say is the top two things that you'd like added to it, or top three? Well, we have uh, opportunities for the comptroller to have uh, a list of salaries and an understanding when those salaries exceed a number, in our case, we've, we've identified as $200,000 for a number. Uh, obviously, the financial disclosures, which could include operational disclosures, but also contractual disclosures that, uh, you know, may be for a short time or a long time to kind of put some sunlight on those. Sounds like some good common sense measures to add to it, so I would absolutely support those. Thank you very much, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Senator Martin. Thank you, uh, Senator Formica, for coming today. So regarding, I know we had an issue regarding the, uh, the attorneys and their, the amount of monies that were paid to the Port Authority. And uh, I think the bill addresses the rights for us as a committee here to have access to the have access to our information because we had asked for uh, invoices so that we could see uh, what those expenditures or those bills were being charged and for what reason and you know they were sort of uh, uh, hid behind so to speak the uh, the client privilege. Uh, uh, you know, right not to, to share that information because of certain client privileges uh, between the attorney and them. So can you explain a little bit about that, if that is in the bill? Well, clearly that would be part of the contractual uh, reviews that I think would be necessary. And uh, But the conversation that I think you're referring to had um, high-priced attorneys doing clerical-type work, and I think that was... Uh, part of the uh, indiscretions, if you will, that was, that was happening throughout that agency. And, and uh, you know, obviously everybody needs attorneys at some point in time, but the question is, and if there was proper oversight as to 
the breadth of, of their work, whether it was indeed necessary in the most efficient use of taxpayer funds. And I think in this case, it became very clear there were a lot of abuses um, in many different areas from this, from the Port Authority operations as it was started. And I think part of that has to do with the fact that this was identified in a budget document a few years ago and not really given the proper vetting. And I, I think that should be another part of the quasi controls that there's proper vetting by the Committee of Cognizance so that we have job descriptions, flow charts, policy procedures, bylaws, all of those things established. And I think if we did, then attorneys would, would fall into the controls under there. And I think that would certainly be an important part of what's going on. Yeah. And I think the rationale behind that part of the bill is to, to let the, to, uh, that the agency, the quasi, is really an extension of us here at the leg legislature. And if we wanted to be able to see certain documents that they shouldn't have that ability to hide behind uh, anything, uh, because they have to, re uh, we are, they are our, uh, you know, they're hired by us, uh, not necessarily by the quasi, but they are, but we are, they are simply an extension of us and we should have right to any information that we want. So thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank and you I agree. Sir. I think reporting to the legislators and the executive branch, I believe is part of this. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator Mika, for your testimony today. Thank you very much for your time.